How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about fitness mistakes. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support that helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training from me, my email is in the description box. Send me a quick email. We can talk more details. So the reason, question, the reason you are sore in the gym is because of lactic acid buildup making your muscles sore. Wrong. Lactic acid buildup has nothing to do with delayed onset muscle soreness. DOMS is caused by doing eccentric loading, which are called negatives, doing exercises that you're not used to, such as new variations in your program. Um, you then create micro tears in the muscle. Your body actually uses lact lactate as fuel. Second one, crunches are a good way to get a six pack. Crunches do have their place in developing the rectus abdominals. There are a few caveats that you need to take into consideration though. You must progressively overload on the crunch at some point in your training to continue to develop your abs. This can be as easy as switching up the variation to make it harder, doing more reps to a certain extent, add some weight resistance, make the movement harder by adding range of motion to it, such as doing crunches on a decline bench, taking shorter rest periods, or even supersetting the crunch with another exercise. There are numerous ways to overload. Diet must also be in check. You have to, you have to get pretty lean to see the complete rectus abdominal muscles. Depending on the maturity of your muscles and how developed they are, depends on what body fat percentage you will need. For example, if you have extremely developed abs, you may see a six pack at 18% body fat. If your abs are not developed, you may need to be 8% body fat to barely see them. Food quality over quantity. Um, calories do actually matter and so does the quality of the food you are eating. It's actually harder for your body to add fat if the excessive amount of calories you eat per day are protein as opposed to carbs and fat. The reason for this is because our bodies love to use up protein. On the other hand, our body stores fat and carbs very easy. So to say we can eat whatever we want as long as we hit our calories for the day is very incorrect. Even if you are bulking, I would highly recommend you take the clean way of doing it and bulk at a slower pace with only a few pounds of body weight gain per month, as well as tracking every calorie and getting good quality calories. So I've tried this numerous times when I've bulked. Um, I have tried eating super clean, tracking my calories and just going barely over a caloric uh, surplus. And then there's times where I have completely went really high over my calorie maintenance. So ate in a huge caloric surplus and really didn't eat that healthy and I got fat. So it's as simple as that. You guys eat healthy, track your foods, just go a little bit above your caloric maintenance. You will see results. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.